Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, it's JC here um, from HMH. I am a coach um, and today I'm going to show you how to create an assessment when you are ready to uh, sign to your students. Um, and that will actually take place in the HMH Ed dashboard. So let me go ahead and share my screen really quickly. Uh, let's see, just... Okay, there we go. Share. Okay. Share. Awesome. Okay, great. So as you can see, the HMH Ed uh, uh, platform is is being shown now. You obviously will get there through the Teach Hub and the inter inter reading um, application. Once you go through Teach Hub and the inter reading application, you actually be launched into the HMH Ed platform. The first thing you'll see is uh, five tabs at the top of the page where it says dashboard, my classes, discover, reports, and teacher's corner. That'll be the area where we'll actually start um, to, to kind of like toggle for the beginning of this. So the first thing I want you to do once you get there is click on the discover tab. Um, once you get to the discover tab, you'll see immediately under where it says HMH resources. You'll also see my stuff. Before you do anything there, the first thing I want you to do is look to your far right and where you see select a program. It's really important to ensure that you're in the actual grade that you want to create this assignment or assessment for. If you move on without doing this an extremely important step, you actually might assign it to the wrong class or the wrong grade. So we'll go ahead and select a program. So for me, I'll have HMH into reading grade four. We'll use that as an example for today. Once you know that's actually correct, um, I want you to go over to my stuff and in my stuff, you'll see a list of current assignments and folders that have been created. Don't be alarmed. If you see this, it's probably because it's something your, your co-teacher has taught or your co-teacher has created. Um, that's perfectly fine. I wouldn't be alarmed if I saw any of that, but for the purposes of this video, what I want, where I want you to focus is the far left where it says browse by and click on my assessments. Um, the first thing we're going to do in my assessments, you'll go ahead and hit create. Um, and let's go ahead and give this assessment a title. So we'll say demo assessment. Um, a lot of teachers try to usually get really creative with their assessment title. I would uh, just encourage you to keep it really simple uh, for persons trying to find your assessment. You don't want it to be super complicated. So keep it really high level, really simple. And then once you create your title, go ahead and select your, your subject. Uh, we'll go ahead and click reading and language arts description. Let's say end of unit assessment <clears throat> and create. All right. Once you do that, do that, you're about halfway there. You're not actually uh, a, a hundred percent complete just yet. You're about 50% of the way completed. Um, you won't see anything, any items appear in your um, assessment because it hasn't been created just yet. So in order to do that, click on add items. On the left side, where you see my mouse kind of like displaying, you'll see where it says select items. We're gonna use this with HMH items specifically. Um, the My Items tab is for folks who want to upload um, individual resources or go ahead and select from a list of other resources that may exist. We'll go ahead and put HMH items and let's go ahead and click into reading grade four. And then once you do that, you'll see a table of contents. Um, that is essentially where you'll be pulling your resources from. So let's go for the purposes of this. Let's go ahead and do module 11, um, genre study. We'll go ahead and do week two. And then once we click week two, you'll get a list of the assessments that are connected directly to that week. Um, and so we'll go ahead and click on this link here. Once you go into uh, the, the actual link that you want, the assessment, you'll see an actual list of questions um, that is included in the assessment. A question that comes up often is, is there an opportunity to either edit or delete um, the questions that exist if you don't want to give that to your question to your students? The answer to that is yes. Um, you simply would only add the questions that you want to quiz your students on. So for this assessment week two, there's a list of about 10 questions. Let's say we only wanted the first three. All we would simply do is go ahead and add that the first question, add the second, and then add the third question. And now we see that there's three items added. Um, if those are the only questions that you want uh, for your students, you'll go ahead and hit save and done. And then you should see a green success button pop up. 
It says your items have been added and saved into assessment. Um, you're mostly done, but the most important part after you've created the assessment is to go ahead and assign it to your students. Um, you have the assignment here. You'll have the description that you could add. What you'll first see is availability and due date. Uh, something to keep in mind that I want to kind of call out here is you could future date all of your assessments, but once you future date it, the due date will be exactly seven days from that future date. So if I future date my assignment for today, 115, I need to be mindful that on the 22nd of January is when the due date will appear and students will have that notification in their dashboard as well. So keep that in mind um, when you um, schedule out some of your assessments. And once you go there, you either want to assign it through ed. Some of our teachers are very well versed in the uh, integration between ed and Google Classroom. In fact, a lot of our students are working directly through Google Classroom. If that's not you, perfectly fine. Just focus on assigned to ed. And then from there, you could assign it by your classes, your groups. Um, you could also, you know, do a break it down by each of the class. You could say, do I want to assign it to all of the class versus 15? Um, a lot of options here to customize exactly what it is you want to do. I won't actually go and assign this. This is a demo account. So for the purposes of this, I'll go ahead and exit. Once you assign it, that is uh, the completion of creating your assessment. Um, the question that might typically come up is, how do I ensure that the assessment is created once I assign it? It's a really good question. You'll simply just go back to discover. I like to go all the way back, go to my stuff. And then once you click on assessment, you should see the assessment listed right here. And it should say assigned. Mine doesn't say assigned because I actually didn't assign it out to students. Again, this is a demo account. And so it will say assign here. And if it is assigned and it's ready to go, this should automatically appear um, in the platform for students once they log into their HMH Ed platform with the actual date that you created. That's it uh, for my video on how to assign assessments um, to students. Uh, please, keep, um, please keep some questions coming. Uh, comment below in the, the text box. Reach out if you have any questions. Um, thank you. Enjoy your day.